What up, YouTube? PJ here. This is Dog Pound Nation. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Please take the time, hit that subscribe, hit that like, hit that notification bell. Welcome to my channel. This is Dog Pound Nation. We're here to talk Cleveland Browns football. So please, if you have it, hit the subscribe, join the family, and hit that like. Please hit the like. It helps my, my channel grow. That's what I'm trying to do. Develop a Dog Pound Nation family. Let's talk football can't do it without you guys and i thank all my subscribers and viewers for your loyalty and dedication to the channel my last video that i dropped on the whole deshaun watson did he do it doing pretty well right now and i i truly appreciate it guys thank you thank you for the comments that's what i'm looking for uh a channel for discussion and to talk football and cleveland browns main thing so let's get into this this video is on the whole deshaun watson press conference giving my thoughts and opinions once again and i definitely want to hear your take on it as well and if you don't agree with me let me know uh i can take criticism i can listen i don't get offended by nothing so if you don't agree tell me all right that's what it's about that's what it, that's what it's all about discussions all right so let's get into this deshaun watson was in berea yesterday talking about you know none other than his 22 allegations and all that other good stuff and one thing that I'm happy that I did see before we get into all this with Deshaun Watson, I noticed in his press conference was that he did not come here for the money. All right. He did state that he chose the Cleveland Browns before he knew anything about the contract. All right. He did state that could be false. Could be just saying that, but I doubt it. I believe the kid look at the, look at the teams that he had to choose from. Why wouldn't he want to go to an organization that has a chance to win? And with the roster we have, that's a no brainer. I know I'm not going to the Atlanta Falcons. I know I ain't going to the Carolina Panthers. Maybe the Saints, Cleveland Browns, hands down, has the best roster right around. So I was happy to see that. I'm sure you guys are too. But uh, now on to the allegations. Uh, the whole Deshaun Watson, I think he handled himself very well. He was professional. He, you know, he spoke very, very, very well. And, you know, what else is he going to say? He's not, you know, he can't really get deep into the allegations and the discussion on all that good stuff. But I think he handled himself well. I was happy to see that spoke well. And I believe him. I, I believe him. I, I believe him to a certain extent. Okay, I, I say that. I do feel there's a sliver of, you know, something might have happened with this. All right, I'm going to break it down right now. All right, with these 22 allegations. This is my thought. I've had a lot of comments in the last video about these allegations. And I, well, I think a lot of people are starting to see it as the way I see it. And that is, I feel that, you know, it's kind of funny. There's too many coincidences with all these allegations, all right? I find it very, very hard to believe, you know, all these things happen the way it's being said, all right, without this man being indicted. All right. This man has already been cleared by two different courts on indictments. They want to know part of moving forward with, you know, with the charges and pursuing the in the court of law. And, you know, out of 22 allegations, you would think that you would see one piece of evidence. One. Nothing. All right. Because it does not take much to indict somebody. It doesn't. I've seen guys get, hand, you know, indict, they'll indict a hand sandwich for Christ's sakes. It doesn't take much in the court of law to be indicted. And they do not have one piece of evidence to indict this man all right that's where i find it kind of kind of shaky all right and my other take on it it's kind of funny all of this popped up right after the man said he wanted out of houston all right mind you the the lawyer that is representing these 22 accusations these 22 women and supposedly more has ties to the houston texans all right i feel that it's it, it's just God forbid, you know, I, I, you know, there's always that possibility that these charges and these accusations are true, but I just don't feel that these are all are true. I feel that Deshaun was involved in a few of these relationships that went south and maybe something of that nature, but I do not believe these kid, this guy, this athlete, um, abused these women. I, I just don't, I don't feel that he did that. I, I think this is a greed. I think this is a money thing. And I just don't see it. I, I'm sorry, um, and don't get me wrong. There's always that chance that it happened. All right, there is. There's always that possibility, and I just there's just too many too many flaws with it. There really is. Um, a lot of these women that are in these allegations um, said that he was that they were assaulted. 
have worked with them after the fact, okay? Who's going to go work with somebody that violated them? Who's going to do that? You're not. So, I mean, that's a, that's a red flag for me. Um, there's, there's just so many red flags when it comes to this, okay? There, it's, it's just, it's, to me, I feel it's kind of like a setup, all right? It is, and I apologize to any women that are watching this um, because... I, I have daughters. I have a daughter that was in an abusive relationship. So I, in, there was facts to that, though. There was, there was, you know, there was evidence to that, okay? There's not evidence to this, okay? These were just somebody accusing him of something, a star athlete, somebody that is highly famous with a lot of money, and there are vindictive women out there. Not all women are, not saying that. There are. You know, I feel this lawyer, okay, because there's, there's only one lawyer. All right. I feel this lawyer got a couple of these girls together that, you know, I, I said, listen, money signs, bring them all in. Let's do this. The more we get, the more money we get. So that's how I feel this is going down. All right. And, you know, and the other thing is, too, let me say this, because I know women that have been sexually abused would not stand for a settlement out, out of, you know, outside of court. They would want to proceed and do everything in their power to make sure this man was behind bars. They were cool, quick. 18 of them were quick for that settlement. Right? So, I mean, there's just too many red flags. That's just my take on it. Um, I'd like to hear your guys in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. All right. I am happy the man is a Cleveland Brown, and I loved hearing Deshaun Watson say, I'm here to win Super Bowls, plural, Super Bowls. And I think it can happen with this guy. I think this guy is going to put us over the top. I think uh, big things are going to happen here. And the other thing is, too, with these allegations, I just do not see how you can take, you know, how can I say it? Take take it. I, I, I don't see how the NFL can take into consideration these allegations and then suspend a man for a lengthy period of time. I just can't see that. Um, okay, the, everybody brings up the Ezekiel Elliott and the Ben Roethlisberger whole thing. Those were allegations, but there was also sort there was there was evidence towards that. There was there's there's more proof than what there is with this allegation. Okay, the the Sean Watson allegations. There is not one single piece of evidence to tie this man to anything. What's being you know said so when it came to ezekiel Elliott, there was certain sort of evidence when it came to ben roethlisberger there was tons of witnesses that actually seen that take place in the bar or whatever the hell i can't remember the exact details but i remember there was some sort of evidence to state what happened there is nothing here okay and like i said these women were willing to work with this man after supposedly the fact of him doing this i just find i mean there's just too many red flags okay I've spoke my pieces. I give you my my thoughts on this. Um, again, if any women are watching this, I'm not trying to be disrespectful about it. It's just that for me, I need to see evidence of something. For somebody to be accused of these heinous crimes, okay, I need to see proof. I need to see evidence. I cannot see, you know, how this is all taking shape and then, uh, you know, punish a man i just can't see it you know and i was speaking on the fact of the nfl i can't see the nfl you know moving forward with a lengthy suspension with no proof whatsoever i just cannot see that taking place i he may get i think he's going to get the minimum if they do suspend him at all i just have that feeling inside that they're got gonna you know suspend this man i just i just don't see how you can do that i just can't i can't see it taking place but if they do i think it's gonna be the bare minimum which is six games and hopefully we can move past this and start watching some good cleveland browns football once again all right i am happy deshaun's here i hope he stays you know true to his word that he's going to be focused and you know lead this team as a leader in the right direction you know and bring winning football back to the city of cleveland us as fans deserve that. We have spent our hard earned money year after year after year watching football. We deserve it, baby. We deserve a championship, and I hope Deshaun brings that to the Cleveland Browns. All right, I'm going to end with that. Guys, leave some comments. Give me your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. If you disagree, leave in the comments. Again, I'm going to say this. I can't say this enough. No disrespect to any women whatsoever. I just need to see the proof. The, you know, to, to slam this man, to slam the door shut on a, any human being. I have to see some sort of proof. That's just, that's just it. I'm sorry. 
and one day he's going to have to answer the man upstairs. That's the way I look at it. So I'm going to keep it at that. Everybody have a great day. Everybody stay safe. Um, enjoy your weekend. It's kind of brisk here in Western New York, but you know, summer's almost here. Everybody stay safe. Please subscribe, like, and go back.